Hi everyone. So, as you can see, my hair is like really wavy. It was straight in my other videos. And that's because I curled it and all the curls are finally like dropping completely. But I like the wavy look. It's cute, you know? Cute. But anyways, I have a lot going on. I'm doing orders for everyone who ordered, you know. We just had a 20% off sale for the launch of the website. And I'm having another sale for Mother's Day. Everyone you know, you gotta treat mommy sometimes, you know. So we're gonna have the sales you can mommy can get her hair done, you know, get all spruced up and get sexy for daddy or for herself, you know. But um I already have my bundles from my mom. And I know she does not like long hair whatsoever. She doesn't even like the whole human the whole idea of human hair. But I'm forcing her. And I know she would love it. So I got her 10 inch loose wave. Malaysian loose wave. It's all bouncy and cute. Alright, I want you guys to take a look. These are the wefts. They're thick. And they're just so sturdy. And the whole key to keeping them like this, and not have strands coming out of them left and right, is to sew around the track, not through the track. And it also prevents shedding. So, I mean, it's just all about who you like in, in your hair. <laughs> and if they completely know what they're doing. And if they do, just simply suggest, hey, can you, do you sew through the track or do you sew around the track? And if you sew through the track, can you sew around the track? And if you don't know how, there is always videos on YouTube. There's people who do sew through the, the track, but like sometimes I sew through the track to just get extra sturdiness. Sometimes I like, especially when I'm making wigs, like permanent wigs. I'll sew around the track so that it's, you know, good. Because I refuse for it to, you know, mess up. Because when it's a permanent wig, you know, you just want to leave it like that. You don't want to ever have to take that hair out off the wig and sew it over and over again, you know? And most wigs tend to last you a year or more, depending on how good you treat it. And the hair itself will last longer than that. And my mother is watching Dancing with the Stars and don't know how to act. Oh, but, but when I'm done talking, she doesn't say anything. So basically, this is what the loose wave looks like. This is how it comes in the bundle. This is 10 inch. I got some for myself. But I got 20 inch. And the 20 inch I've already unraveled because I'm crazy and I don't have time to waste. And I'm just all over the place. And I have three bundles of these because I feel like that's all I need. It's kind of getting a little hot. We're not going towards winter time. We're going towards summer. So it's getting a little warm and toasty out there. So I refuse to like have like four or five bundles on my head. No. So it's going to be full, but it's not going to be like crazy mad full, you know. Because like right now I have two bundles on one side. Now if it was a full head, I'd have four. Because this is a 22 and... I have 20s that would go with it too. But um, yeah, I absolutely love it. This is Malaysian. And I have a loose weight, 10 inch, 20 inch. And they're combed out. And it's not 20 inch when it's loose. Well, a lot of people get confused. Wait, wait a second. That's not 20 inch. It's so, like, it's it should be 20 inch in the curl, but it's not 20 inch in the curl. It's when you stretch it, how long it is. And this hair can be straightened, dyed, colored, permed if you don't want that wave anymore. Or if you have curly hair and you don't want it to be curly anymore, you can perm it. I don't think it's a good idea, but you can do it. You can. Because, I mean, I don't I don't go perm my own hair. Why would I perm my virgin hair? If I want straight hair, I buy straight hair. But um, that's the loose wave. It's very, very pretty. Beautiful. Very bouncy. 
not too shiny. The ends are consistent, it's not thin. It's just, you get the full effect once it's all done and cute and the style is put together. I plan on doing some Chinese bangs, straight hair every now and then, you know, wet it up and have it give that loose effect. It'll be cute. Then now, because the black bundles are usually, like with the black rubber band is, is um, Malaysian, with the blue it is Brazilian. Now, I have a customer, she bought some Brazilian bundles, those are the wefts. The wefts are just as sturdy, and like I said, you want to go ahead and sew around it, not through it. It's really good, and I love it. So pretty much, it's like, like look at that, look at that. Buy some pack hair and tell me if it been like that. It's just so natural. Natural and nice. I really do hope customer likes it because I know I love it. That is her Brazilian hair. And it's really nice and very bouncy and pretty. And if I get a picture in time of the style from her, I would definitely post it. But look at that. Really nice. Very good quality. Very awesome. And right now we only have Brazilian and Malaysian. Soon I will have European hair. That will include like brown and <clears throat> blonde. Oh yeah. I cannot wait to have blonde hair like I'm not going to wear blonde hair because number one, you see how dark I am. Blonde hair, I just don't, me personally, I just don't think I can pull that off. I'll probably do like maybe a highlight or something, but for my hair to be blonde, I don't think so. <laughs> not on me at least. Like, a fade into blonde, okay. But my whole hair blonde, child, I refuse to walk around here looking a hot mess. This customer got two 16s and a 14 inch. Her hair will be thick and beautiful. Let's see how much bundle she can fit in there. I'm pretty sure she's going to fit the two. She's going to use like half of the third one. I always recommend you get three bundles. Always, but like really, it doesn't matter what inch you get. Me personally, always get three bundles because it's better to have enough than to run out of hair. You know what I'm saying? So, if three bundles, you're safe, you're good. But if you go anywhere over 18 or 20 inches, depending on what style you're gonna do, if you want it to be really full, you're gonna want four or more. Especially if you go over 26 bundles. You're gonna want 26 inch bundles. You're gonna want at least five bundles, like four or three bundles of 26 inch. Your hair is going to be very thin. And if <clears throat> budget is a thing, like most people, especially me when I was starting out with virgin hair and everything, um, <clears throat> I would definitely always get like layers, like 2018, 16, you know, like that. Just save a little bit here and there. And if you must, if you if you really want it to be full and you're gonna get three bundles, the best thing to do is to get two of the longest inch. So that the longer length it looks much fuller. Because if you get two 14s and one 16, it's gonna look really, really weird and it's gonna be very blunt and just very thin at the bottom. And no one likes thin hair, you know. So make sure you get two of the longest length, at least to make it fuller, and one of the top length. And if you must, get two of each length if you're getting four bundles. If you're getting five bundles, get three of the longest inch and two of the shortest inch. Or like I said, you can layer it, but remember at the five, make sure those last two at the bottom are the same length at least. So that you have a more full look and your hair doesn't look thin. No one likes thin hair. But yes, 
I'm gonna take those 20 inch bundles, make me a wig. Child's gonna be black china in this bit. I just love how her bangs are, like they're perfect. Black china and you know the wing the wigs that um Nicki Minaj used to always wear. Their bangs are just always on point. And I've been practicing my cutting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Sierra says hello. She will be all done up before you know it. And I will show you the finishing touches of Sierra's hair. Okay? I should do a video on it because there's so many videos out there about how to make a wig and all this other stuff and I mean eventually like I'll just do like one when I get the chance and I get the chance to find like a good stand for the camera to go on to so everyone can see then I'll, I'll just do like one but other than that I don't think I can, can do that right now. But um, there's plenty of videos online, so there's so much to like look at and choose from. So, but um, yeah, that is elegant virgin tresses, and you get at least four ounces of hair in each bundle, and you need at least eight for a head. And so, the longer the length, the more bundles you need. It's just as simple. Those are the rules to live by. Okay? I mean, it's not that bad. I can't wait to install this in my mom's hair. She's gonna love it. It's short like she likes it. And it'll give her that fullness, fullness and that thickness that she wants. And I'm excited to see if she'll like it. Okay? And when it comes to the, the Malaysian hair, it's a little bit more black, like a little bit more natural black. And the Brazilian hair is natural black, but towards the end starts to like fade into a little bit of brown. If you can see that, I don't know. But it's really, really good, good virgin hair. And I love it. I have to start buying more Brazilian again. And get, I have to get closures. And soon closures will be coming soon also. So stay tuned for those. Just gotta get everything together. Whew. But I have to send off these orders and start on my wig because I'm so ready to take this out. I love the red. I really do. But I'm really getting tired of this hairstyle. <laughs> like I'm always changing my hairstyle. It's absolutely ridiculous. I used to always look at some people like, how in the world do you just stick to one for like a month or two months or something? But your hair different every other week. <laughs> But I see why, because they just get tired of it. Like, mostly because I'm natural, like the braids are just, you know, they're done. <laughs> they're so done and I haven't even had it in for three weeks yet, but I'm natural, so I can't be mad. <laughs> I already knew this was gonna happen. But um, when it hits three weeks on Saturday and it's now Monday, oh yeah, I look so quick though. And I don't cut the track, I just cut the, the, um, 